I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care cause I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet. I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. I know what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 2022 Easter slash spring clean and decorate. I am so excited to share with y'all what I picked up for spring this year because I told y'all at the beginning of the year that I'm going to try to start incorporating more everyday decor into my seasonal decor so that way when it comes time for the end of the season I won't have so much to store away and that way I'm also not wasting money on just stuff that I can use once a year. I can use it all year round if I want to so I'm excited to share that. I also did pick up a few bunnies and fun seasonal stuff so don't worry there's lots of that too. I'm going to be making a really fun Easter treat and it is a sweet and salty recipe. It's so good and it is so stinking cute for Easter. And then towards the end of this video, I'm gonna be sharing a really cute little craft with baby Oliver. We're gonna turn him into an Easter bunny. So stay tuned until the very end of this video. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below when you plan to decorate for spring or if you already have. I've got my iced coffee and I'm ready to go. Let's go ahead and get started. People have written books, some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17. I'm starting out in our bedroom today. I got the cutest spring sheets from Home Goods, and they are like a pink floral. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on, and then I'm gonna add a really cute bunny throw pillow as well as a fluffy pink throw blanket. I loved adding lots of fun pink items to our room this season. As y'all know, this room stays pretty neutral most of the year, so it felt really fresh to just brighten it up in here for the warmer months. And that's kind of what I'm doing throughout this whole video is just adding items throughout our whole house that feel really fresh and bright and airy. I wanted to keep things very clutter free, but also really fun for the season. Someone who's half their age Reading from a torn out page From a book filled with lies But I don't know what to do I'm staring into the blue sky And just waiting for a sign Some they are certain Of what awaits them When it all ends But I don't know What will happen to me Will I be remembered in the century
try my best to let y'all know where everything came from in this video, but so far everything in our room I believe is from Home Goods. I got the bunny pillow last year and I got the bunny banner last year. I did pick up that little white bunny on the nightstand from Target Dollar Spot this year. I think it was like three or five bucks. And I got a bunch of those as well as a few shorter rabbits. They had the taller ones and then the little ones and I got a mixture of both. And I cannot remember where I found those faux tulips. I think it might have been the Target Dollar Spot last year. Hold on when you need a friend, I'll never let you go again. Reach out when your mind's uneasy. I'm using my Blue Land glass cleaner because I needed to clean down the mirrors by our bed and also the long mirror on the other side of the bedroom and our lamps so I decided to just use that on everything that way I'd only have to bring one spray in here so you're gonna see me clean down a few pieces of furniture with that I'm not recommending that but I did think it worked pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and wipe everything down and we're gonna decorate this dresser for Easter and then we're gonna head over to the fireplace and decorate for Easter and I wanted to incorporate something that said he is risen because after all that's why we celebrate but um, there wasn't a whole lot in stores this year that had that. I found one little sign from Hobby Lobby so I picked it up and it wasn't really the color or the style that I like but I needed something because I, I had all bunnies and none of that. But. I ended up being able to work it in with my decor and on the TV there I went ahead and just got on YouTube and found a spring playlist and I thought this was so fitting because in the springtime we love to go eat on patios and this was an outdoor patio with lots of florals and the music was just kind of like soft jazz I think so it was really nice to clean too. Today's video is in collaboration with my friend Carla. She is also decorating for Easter and she has lots of fun, colorful eggs and bunnies and I'm so excited to see her decorate today. Carla is such a sweet YouTube friend and I can relate to her on a whole other level right now because she had a baby right around the same time that I had Oliver and so it's been so much fun to chat back and forth and share our motherhood stories but she has tons of cleaning and organizing content over on her channel. She absolutely kills it as a mom and a homemaker. So make sure to stop by her channel today and leave her a comment letting her know that I sent you. You'll really enjoy her. I will have her links down in my description box below. And if you are coming over from Carla's channel today, I am so excited to have you. I make lots of cleaning and decorating and mom life content. So if those are things that you enjoy, I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. I went ahead and switched out that big glam Easter egg on our dresser from blue to pink just so that it would match everything else in here. And I actually found those at Home Goods last year. And then for our fireplace, I found that He Is Risen sign at Hobby Lobby. And then all of those little white glass bunnies came from the Target dollar spot this year. And now I'm just running the vacuum in here.
And now I'm headed into the kitchen and I'm going to go ahead and pull all of my decor off the counters in here so that I can kind of rethink how I want this space to look. I was really tired of that kitchen sign over there in the corner. It's been there since we moved in and so the day before this I actually texted my sisters and I was like what should I do with this corner over here? I'm tired of this sign and my sister Lindy was like you need a light there it's kind of dark. So I went to at home and I picked up a lamp and it is super cute so we're gonna stick that there along with some bunnies and we're just gonna freshen this space up but before we do that I'm just taking my blue land multi-surface spray and wiping everything down Okay, so a thing that I'm trying to do this year is um, purchase less seasonal decor that's colorful and bright and specific to a certain season because I have collected so much seasonal decor and I don't have a good place to store it right now. And so what I'm trying to do right now is buy more things that I can use in my house and rearrange and that are just a little bit more versatile. So for spring this year when I was out in the stores shopping, I couldn't resist buying a few bunnies and things like that. but. I did buy more things that can be used throughout our whole entire house all year long and one of those things was this little sign that says stay a while. I picked that up from Tuesday morning and I thought it was perfect for spring because it's bright and airy and fresh but I can use it throughout the whole entire year. I also picked up that lamp from at home and I love the way this made our kitchen look. It brightened up that space so well so Lindy thank you so much for that advice. And over here by the coffee pot I already had this little bunny from last year and then I just stuck a little Ray Dunn mug on our Keurig and it says bunny love and then I picked up this little um, pitcher from Hobby Lobby and I'm just filling it with some white tulips to freshen up that space I found this cute little spoon holder at TJ Maxx and I thought that was so cute I could not pass it up and also this towel came from TJ Maxx and I kind of went for a pink and white and black theme in our kitchen I didn't mean to do that but it ended up working out I'm gonna go ahead and add a light pink candle holder here with a fresh citrus candle that I also found at TJ Maxx it smells so good and I also just went ahead and switched out our hand soap for something floral and fun and now I'm heading over to our little pantry door to add a little egg wreath. more than this so where do you 
and I can never clean the kitchen without wiping down our appliances with some glass cleaner to shine them up. And here in just a second, I'm gonna share with y'all a really yummy Easter treat, and then we'll move into the kitchen nook to decorate the hutch and the table. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Okay, for this fun little Easter recipe, we are making bird's nest, and all you need are some chow mein noodles, some robin eggs, I got the mini, um, two cups of marshmallows, and a fourth cup of butter. That is all you need, and then also a muffin pan to put them in because we're gonna throw them in the freezer to harden up the nest before we put the eggs in. Always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside. It really makes me wonder. I'm always a huge fan of easy recipes, and I love that this one comes out so cute with hardly any effort. All you have to do is melt the butter in the microwave, and then once it's melted, you mix in the marshmallows and pop it back in the microwave for about 40 seconds, and mix it all together. You pour in your chow mein noodles. I did three cups. I'll go ahead and link this recipe down below for y'all, but you pour in the chow mein noodles, mix them all up, and then you just pop these in the muffin pan, let them harden up, and I actually used a silicone muffin pan which was the greatest idea ever or the greatest invention ever because when these are all done hardening up all you have to do is push the bottom of the pan up and these pop right out and then you just fill them with some robin's eggs and you have some bird's nests and they are so stinking cute it makes me wonder it really makes me wonder oh i wonder are not only so cute and fun but they are delicious will and i actually polished all of these off in like two nights the marshmallow mixed with the chow mein noodles is so good so definitely give these a try they're too easy to pass up and now we're moving on to the kitchen nook i'm gonna go ahead and wipe down our kitchen table and show y'all what i did for our little tablescape it's just will and i right now because ollie doesn't sit at the table yet so we just have two place settings Eventually that is going to change, but we're going to just make this really cute for two people. My friends are in the club, we'll go all night. I see you in the back, the mood is right. If I just had your number, I would let you know how I feel. You walk up to me, stop dancing to the music and the chase. Like this was meant to be, take my I found this white bird cage at Michael's this year for $24.99, but it was 40 or 50% off, so it was such a great deal because it's pretty large. And I actually already had this little glass bird from at home last year. But this bird cage is another really great find that I'm proud of because I can actually use it all year round rather than just in springtime. And for around the cage, I went ahead and added our moss greenery from the top of our hutch. And then I'm just going to add in some speckled eggs. And then here in just a second, I'm going to show you what we did for our little place settings. The way you touch me around my neck. Got chills down my back. You For the place settings, I actually picked up everything at Hobby Lobby. 
So I picked up those little burlap placemats and then the little white flower chargers. And then I'm just gonna set one of our white plates on there and then put the bunny plate on top. But those white chargers and the burlap placemats are pretty versatile too, so I can use those year round. And then I couldn't pass up the little bunny with the butterfly. I think that's so cute. I love the way that our table turned out. And now we are moving on to the hutch. For the hutch, I usually like to keep a base of like white dishes and white decor in here with just a little bit of greenery and sometimes a little bit of color. So what I'm doing right now is pulling out everything that I don't want in there with my Easter decor. I did not want those rose gold cups in there. I'm also gonna pull out that brown basket at the bottom and just kind of keep a really clean white slate for spring and summer. And then we'll just add in some eggs and little bunnies. All of the decor that I put on my hutch is kind of a mixture of stuff from either home goods or Hobby Lobby or at home. Um, I found that little glass egg crate at at home this year and when I went to check out the cashier was like I have rang up so many of these today so I guess everybody had the same idea but I just filled that up with some Easter eggs. I also filled up the basket on top with some eggs and the bunny feed sign I believe came from TJ Maxx last year and I just kind of filled it up with some little bunny stuff. I think the carrots came from Hobby Lobby last year and some of this decor I didn't even use last year but um, I decided to put it to use in our hutch this year. I love the way that it turned out. I think it's super cute. And now we're gonna move on into the living room. When the darkness is over And your heart's getting closer Closer to me Will you start to believe Will you start to believe That it's real since our living room is the first room that you walk into when you come in the front door, I wanted to keep it pretty minimal, um, clutter free and kind of neutral color. So I went with a sparkly bunny banner for the TV and then I already had this little gray bunny pillow from last year. I'm gonna pop that on the big couch. And then I also already have that other bunny pillow from last year. I believe both of those pillows came from Home Goods last year and it says don't worry be hoppy i believe and it's got some little tassels on the edges so we're going to keep it neutral in here but still festive and i think it looks really clean and fresh for spring but you're still yearning for something yeah you're still burning and wanting when this battle is over and when i very much over And 
y'all know how I am with seasonal candy. I like to have it everywhere. We put the Easter M&Ms in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna add some little Robin's eggs here in this little egg in the living room. I think these little cracked egg candy dishes came from the Target dollar spot. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure I got them there this year. And I don't know why I can't remember that right now. But I'm also gonna pop some fresh tulips in a vase right here. And I don't know how long I'll be able to keep those alive, but they're really pretty while they last. I'm headed into the front entryway now just to clean up all of the Easter decor that I decided not to use this year. And I'm gonna wipe down this bench with my multi-surface cleaner. And then I picked up this little strand of eucalyptus um, from Walmart maybe? I don't remember where I picked, no, Michaels. I picked it up from Michaels and I didn't find a place for it. So I'm just gonna pop it on top of this bench just for an extra little fresh look for spring. And we're gonna vacuum up this area and then I'm gonna head into the kitchen to show y'all the little craft that we did with Oliver. I'm loving this neutral, clutter-free look for our living room this season. I feel like it's gonna be so much easier to keep clean, especially with all of Oliver's toys in here all the time. So hopefully that works out for us. But now we are gonna head into the kitchen and do Oliver's first craft ever. Is it true what they say? You ready? Oh. Uh, yeah, let's paint your toe. Okay, here we go. I wanted to do something that would be a little keepsake for Oliver's first Easter. So we're gonna take his footprints and turn him into a fluffy little Easter bunny. And I'm gonna show you the end product here in just a few minutes. So all I'm gonna do is cut out a little circle and write his name and the date on the back. And then I'm gonna flip it over and I cut out a picture of his little face and I'm gonna go ahead and glue that to the top of this circle. 
and that big circle is going to be a bunny belly. And we're gonna cover it in cotton balls to make it really fluffy. I also cut out some ears and painted them pink. And we glued those to his little face and we're gonna cover those in fluff. And I'm actually gonna add fluff all the way around his face as well. And then when we get all the fluff added, I'm gonna add the feet to the top of the belly. And it's gonna be a cute little fluffy Easter bunny. And I think this is such a fun little keepsake for babies. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope y'all got lots of spring and Easter inspiration. I had so much fun making this video. Y'all don't forget to stop by Carla's video on your way out. I will leave a clickable link here on the screen, but it's also down in my description box. And I will see y'all in a brand new video next week. Bye!